Salmon and steelhead love cold water. Actually, they need it to thrive. But sometimes streams and rivers don't cooperate. When temperatures get too high, the fish seek colder water wherever they can find it. These pockets of cold are called thermal refuges. Thermal refuges are a part of the bigger picture of how habitat for particularly cold water fishes like salmon, trout, and steelhead survive. Take Big Bend Pool in Oregon's Umpqua River watershed. Every year, hundreds of wild summer steelhead hang out in this refuge of cold water for months before heading farther upstream to spawn. If their water temperatures are too warm, their metabolism speeds up and they, they have to live off of stored energy that they brought back from the ocean. If metabolism gets too high, they use up all their energy and they won't have anything left for their spawning run, or they may even die. The fish congregate here because of what happens about 300 feet upstream. We're going to take a water temperature here, and then we're going to take one in Big Bend to see what kind of differential there is. It says it is 25C, which is 77 degrees, which is pretty darn warm. That's the temperature danger zone for salmon and steelhead, but the water flowing into this creek is drastically different. 15 degrees Celsius, which is 59 Fahrenheit. 77 versus 59, big difference. Because of this cold water coming out uh, of Big Bend into that holding pool down there, it cools that pool considerably. This thermal refuge is important to one of Oregon's last remaining wild runs of summer steelhead. It is probably the best spot anywhere for summer steelhead. But as climate change causes stream flows to drop and water temperatures to warm even more, thermal refuges are going to become vital to the survival of the species. And land managers are realizing that keeping these fish and other plants and animals healthy means thermal refuges should be a top conservation priority.